What's good y'all man? It is your boy Sniper Cakes and today's video man is going to be a fire video man for real. So make sure you hit that subscribe button right now because today's video I'm going to show you guys a segment of how I run my sneaker business. As you guys know I run a sneaker business and you know I, pre I do it full time. I do this thing full time. So I'm going to give you guys you know a glimpse of what I do. Um, today I have some bulk orders. Um, bulk orders, I love bulk orders because number one, it gets a lot of inventory out because I have a lot of inventory in this room. Maybe, I believe uh, over 400, um, just a whole bunch of random stuff. And you know, I love when people buy bulk because number one, a lot of times it is stores. We will talk about that and it's a lot of times it's people that need the shoe because they can sell it for higher. So um, we're gonna go and organize some stuff. Here's some stuff right now that's going out. Um, some stuff as well here's going out there's a lot of stuff going out i gotta go into you know this um vault right here uh this vault has a lot of stuff my bad my face is all on the camera you see all these jordan one boxes you know nike dunks over there pollens you got you know a lot of lightnings over there so Man, today's gonna be a very lit video. Uh, gotta make labels, gotta ship a lot of stuff out. Um, outside there, I already got some packages already, um, you know, packed up and everything. But first things first, let's get all these um, bulk orders out. Let's get these shoes, uh, more shoes right here. Just a lot of shoes, man, a lot of shoes in the sneaker uh, room. So let's get this all situated and let's keep it moving and let's enjoy this video because this is going to be fire. Let's get it. So now dealing with the first order. So um, I have an order. So a lot of people like to buy from me from Instagram. So um, of course I always, you know, check my IG to see what orders I do. I post on my story. I'll show screenshots here. Post on my short story is very effective. But unfortunately, like if you don't have, um, if you haven't built your brand, if you haven't watched my videos, I have a video talking about building a brand. You have to start building your brand. And I could touch on that more because anybody's just not gonna buy from you. So that's the one thing that I would wanna say is that if you wanna sell shoes like for real, do it full time, you have to build your brand. And it takes time, it doesn't, you know, it's not something you do overnight. But with certain steps, I'll touch upon it more. Comment below if you want me to touch upon more how to build a brand and how to increase your sales. So as you can see here, a lot of bulk, a bulk order here. Um, this guy spent around, 2,600 bucks with me. So he's getting these mids right here. Um, these heat reactive mids. Uh, let me pull them up. He's getting a lot of these. He's in the West Coast, so these moves really fast. So he's getting a lot of these. Um, so putting these in boxes, um, putting this down here, and then seeing what else I know. This shadow mids, um, getting these. These are in the vault over here. So I'm gonna grab those pink dunks as well grabbing lows grabbing more lows so he's really buying some stuff man he's buying some stuff and a lot of times when you deal with um and i'll make another video about this as well like how to you know get retail not retail but resell shops that want to buy from you is like hey they're buying my resale price but they're selling it for so much more because they have a storefront so you know there's a process to that as well like there's a lot of avenues to resell your sneakers and i can make more videos about that but you know it's 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 a way to make money in this game but you just got to know what you're doing and just you know do trial and error sometimes you're gonna mess up and lose money and do things but you got to keep persevering and being consistent so grabbing the rest of these shoes he bought around i think like 10 or eight shoes something like that so getting those ready and um shipping them out i gotta head to home depot because there is um, I don't have any big boxes. I usually have these single boxes right here, but now I need to get you know, a large box for this bulk order. And I have another bulk order as well that's going through, so I gotta get that situated. So, gotta grind it out, man. Gotta keep going, gotta keep going. So let's get it and let's keep this thing moving. See, getting them lined up. More right here. All these are going out. Going back into this vault. Um, so, grabbing those. Um, also, he's grabbing this dunk as well like dunks so these are going this is a large order this is around he's buying around like i said like 10 11 shoes so grabbing these putting it over pop you see my my son be in here so you see some toys around it's my son's so right here last two and then these are going so bulk order right there so going out another thing guys when you're dealing with this many shoes 
you gotta stay organized for real. You have to stay organized because you can easily make mistakes. And you know, when you're dealing with people that are buying so many shoes, you do not wanna make mistakes because you know, at the end of the day, you wanna, you know, do good business. So make sure you stay organized. I have my laptop. I'm gonna show you guys like what I put in my laptop and regarding sales and regarding, you know, inventory as well. Uh, but man, there's a lot of shoes going out today. What I love about Friday, Friday, I, Friday, man, I make so much money on Friday because people get paid, people want shoes. So let's get it, man. <laughs> let's get it. Let's get it. We got to keep on going. We probably got to take a trip to Home Depot, like I said, to get these boxes and, you know, ship these shoes out as well. So as you can see, got back from Home Depot, got a large box. Also, you know, picked up a couple, you know, other sizes as well. Uh, these shoes are going out right here in bulk, one bulk order there. As you see, these 12s, all these are going out as well. And some more shoes right here are going out as well. So a lot of shoes are going out, man. I believe around 50 pairs are gonna go out. These are more individual orders. I still need to get some, you know, more stuff here is getting shipped out. Uh, this right here, bulk order, another bulk order um, that I gotta get. So it's getting busy, man, Friday. I love Fridays, it's payday. You know, people spend their paychecks on Friday. So let's get it. So guys, as you can see, had to upgrade the box to extra large. Um, shoes are in here. Uh, so now guys, there's a quick tip that I can give you is, you know, creating these seams on the edges of the boxes so you can actually get this thing to go down. Hold on, let me go right here. Only got one hand, so it's gonna be hard. And see, you can go like this. Um, so it can actually be flat. So that's a quick tip right there, but I'm gonna organize and tape it down. But first order going out and you know, keep it moving, man. Bulk orders, I like them. All packages are packed up, ready to be shipped. And right now I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of mindset. And like I said, from the title of this video, how I ran a million dollar sneaker business through my home. Uh, but there's a lot of strategic things that goes behind it. And I'm gonna show you guys a couple of my sheets, a couple of my inventory sheets, my sales sheets, and what I try to accomplish to make that happen. Again, you cannot do this overnight, but with persistence, with consistency, anything is possible. So I'm gonna show you guys the goals that I have per day in my sneaker business. On top of that, I'll show you guys, you know, my inventory sheet and my sales sheet. And I feel like this is gonna really help a lot of people that are trying to grow a sneaker business. Yes, I've been doing it for a while. Yes, I built up a following, but anybody can do this. And again, this is a million dollars in sales. Uh, so, you know, blessed to accomplish that goal um, last year, but you know, it's just the beginning. Trying to keep going strong. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of insight on this. And you know, if you guys want me to do more reselling videos make sure you hit that like at the end of the day i want to do videos that you guys do enjoy so if you guys do want to see me do more reselling videos hit that thumbs up button all right guys let's go into the sheets so y'all we are on my quickbooks as you guys see sales sheet and overall goal of this sheet is to stay organized to stay organized but as you guys see uh, i color coordinate everything um, I'm very organized, very particular with what I do. And as you guys see right here, um, I put, you know, the base, basic categories that I have is the date. I put the date once and then drag it along because it's the same date. I put the shoe dash the size. Um, I put the, you know, how much I bought it for, how much I sold it for, and also the shipping and that, you know, number all the way to the right is the profit that I made. Again, you know, what the goal that I focus on is this number right here, and this is revenue. Uh, because at the end of the day, um, people don't realize, people wanna make profit on everything. Yes, I make profit on most of all my shoes, but at the end of the day, I want to sell shoes. That's the biggest thing, I want to sell shoes. So the revenue is very important. My goal is to have at least $2,000 worth of revenue every single day, because that means I'm actually selling shoes. And as you can see, Friday, February 4th, a really good day. You see the revenue number right here, 4,758. Um, as you see, I sell a lot more shoes through here. Um, you see the shoes right here, again, categories. Um, you go right here, 2,000. Again, my goal is $2,000 of revenue 
every single day but i don't hit that goal every single day but it gives me a benchmark so here's my sales sheet hope this helps you guys as, as i said it's going to be the date the shoe dash the size what i bought it for what i sold it for and also shipping um and then the profit and then the revenue so hope that helps you guys uh let's go to the inventory sheet so right here as you guys see it's a generic inventory list i'm fairly simple i just put inventory name size buying what i bought it for and what I'm looking to sell it for. So um, as you guys see, there's some stuff that I'm holding here. There's some stuff that I'm just letting go. So um, basic, basically, again, guys, just be organized and, you know, you'll be good. So this is just a generic inventory uh, sheet. So, so y'all, that is the video for today. Again, if you want me to do more reselling videos, make sure you smash that like button and say in the comment section, hey, Sniper, we want more reselling videos. Because at the end of the day, uh, guys, it takes a lot of consistency. It takes a lot of, you know, effort to actually do this, you know, full time and actually be successful. Again, a lot of people sniping already resell sneakers at a high rate. But, you know, I want to give, you know, people some context of how I actually build my sneaker business. So, you know, at the end of the day, really do appreciate you guys. Uh, uh, we're gonna keep this thing moving. You already know, Snipe Gang out. Peace.